but we avoided those accidents, Father. We just pray for what we see, but what the things that happened in heaven that we avoided, Father. When we avoided that car because we were delayed, when we avoided that accident because of this happening, you are a God of total control. And you have us in the eye, in the corner of your eyes upon us, Lord. We are in the palm of your hand. And we're giving you glory tonight. We lift up praise. We sing a hallelujah to the King of kings and the Lord of lords. For only you are worthy to be praised, Father. We give you glory in this house, Lord. We pray, Lord, we light a fire in Sydney, Lord. We stoke the coals tonight that the fire of the Holy Ghost will burn and burn and burn and burn throughout Sydney. We decree tonight that you are the only God. We decree there's no other God. We decree there's nothing that can stand against us with our God before us. We decree tonight that be signs, wonders and miracles in our individual lives in our family lives, in our friends, in our church, in this city. They will know that the God at Christ Kingdom Ministries is alive. They will know that He is true. They will know they will flock from the north. I call them from the north. They will flock from the south. I call them from the south and the east and the west. And they will say there's something happening. Get to that place of mystery. There's something happening. Surely this God is real. Surely this God is true. I prophesy into the atmosphere this evening that the Lord your God will show himself strong. That these next three months are critical for your breakthrough. Stay in the presence for the presence is fullness of joy. Stay in the presence for in the corporate anointing this joy forevermore. Father, I decree tonight that everyone that's here with a burden, that weeping last for the night, but tomorrow morning, after the worship, after the word, joy comes in the morning. You're the God of joy. You're the God of breakthrough. You're the God that makes things possible. I declare that as was spoken, that tonight, Tuesday night, is a night of miracles, of signs, of wonders, of shaking and rattling of chains, of doors opening, of breakthrough, of breakthrough and recovery. Father, we will recover all, Father. We will recover all, Father. As your people lift your hands up and wave unto you, the only God. As I hear them say hallelujah throughout this place, Lord. Hallelujah, you are God. You are the only God. We give you praise, Father. Father, tonight we dedicate every word said, every song sung, every word of the pulpit, Lord. As the hot coals are placed on your servant, as the coals are placed on the ministers and their music, as the coals are placed upon the praise and worship team, let there be a fire that goes out, a fire that's burning. Every spirit not of God we cut down right now, we bring to nothing. Everything that's come to disrupt the service, we bring to nothing. We lift up the atmosphere for angels. We lift up the atmosphere in this house. And Father, have your way. Have your way. In Jesus' name, we dedicate this night to you, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. How oh, we worship you tonight, Jesus. The name that is above every other name. The name that is high and lifted up. Jesus, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord.
stands above the Lord. All thrones and dominions, all powers and positions, your name stands above the Lord. Oh, your name, Jesus. Your name is the highest. Your name is the greatest.
Your name is the highest, Lord. Your name is the highest. Your name is the highest. For God has highly exalted him and give him a name above every other name. Hallelujah. We declare your name is the highest in our midst. We enthrone you in our midst. We declare you are Lord and King and Master in our midst. You are our Savior. We declare Yahweh is our God in our midst. We honor you. We honor you tonight. Father, we acknowledge where two or three are gathered in your name. There you are in the midst. And it is with reverent awe we come into the sanctuary of the Lord to seek your face. As your people, we stand declaring our love for our God. And there is no other God besides you, my Father. There is no, no other God. There is no other God, but I am that I am. And we honor you with all our heart. Today we celebrate the victory of Calvary. We thank you for engrafting us into the Abrahamic covenant. We thank you there's neither Jew nor Gentile. But Lord, we are the children of the Most High God. And we want to give you thanks. I want to thank you for our salvation tonight. And I thank you for our deliverance. And where would Christ have set us free? We want to give you praise. Father, as a church, as your people, as Christ's kingdom ministries, as united in Christ, we come here again tonight and we say we believe in the oracles of our God. We we'll believe that my God is able. That what you laid before us, Lord, it is able, you are able to manifest. And tonight we are believing for that special hour of this month of September, for the month of our breakthrough and the launching pad of the greater things to come. We give you praise and we give you thanks and we give you glory. And so my Father be exalted in your word. We stand in stubbornness with your word and we know it is a and a man. It is written and so it shall be. And we your church believe. Tonight I want to thank you for every miracle that has taken place. For every breakthrough that has taken place. And for every breakthrough that is taking place. And every miracle that is taking place. I want to say thank you Jesus. Give the Lord a praise somebody. We give you praise. Hallelujah. And so as you increase, I decrease. And Father, I thank you, Lord, you lead your servant again by the Holy Spirit. And I believe with all my heart, your word will never return void, but will accomplish that which it declares. And we ask these mercies in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God bless you. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Amen. Welcome into the sanctuary of the Lord. And it's good to have you here on the 26th of September. And I think it's just after 7 in the evening, p.m. Are you blessed? Yo, not everyone. Are you blessed? I can hear the guys on our watching on the media is shouting louder than you. Amen. And to those of you joining on the media, beloved, stay focused tonight. The time is here. Stay focused. Those who are joining us, don't switch off. Stay tuned. Don't miss your miracle. There's divine activity all around. It is amazing. There's divine movement all around. Like shooting stars. You can see the angels flying around. Restless. Because they know when the servant of God begins to speak, there's no time. They must get prepared. Because we believe. In the sovereign word of God. When we unsheath the word. Unsheath the soul. Of his word through our mouth. And release it. As the trumpet of the living God. When we release it. There's angelic hosts. Get involved. To see this word come to pass. And so get ready tonight beloved. And I pray this day the Lord will. Encourage your faith tonight. Tonight yet is another night of breakthrough. Can I hear Amen. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a praise, somebody. I'm believing God not only for you and for everyone that will join with us and also especially united in Christ. 
with all the groups of churches that under the banner of United Christ we've been standing together for every, 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 all the sons and daughters of their house and all those pastoral staff and the leadership. We said, Lord, every breakthrough in this house will be a breakthrough for them. Every blessing in this house will be a blessing for them. Because it is Christ's church. Amen. In John 12, 23, tonight we're going to push a lot in prayer. And you're going to pray with me. As God, we're going to lead you in prayer tonight. And you're going to pray after me. And we're going to soak into a prayer this day. The New King James Version declares as it is written. And this is Jesus. He answered them and saying, The hour has come. The hour has come that the Son of Man should be glorified. The spiritual renewal Bible says, The time has come for the Son of Man to enter into his glory, for the Son of Man to be glorified. Beloved, I stand here today on the 26th of September by faith. And we declare by faith, not only that life and death is the power of our tongue, that we speak by faith, we speak in faith, that we believe in the promises of the ever-living God. His promises are sure as He is sure. His promises are truth as He is truth. I declare the, mo the moment of the breakthrough has come for Jesus. And it did come in the divine appointment of time. When that hour came, everything that was purposed before time passed to happen then, suddenly began to be released. And I say to you, there is a set time they are set time by our God. By God himself, Yahweh. There is a set time by our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for your breakthrough and for my breakthrough. All of Jesus, 33 years of his faithfulness and his trust and his service to the great I am in walking in his way and walking in truth. In all the sufferings he had to bear. And all the burdens he had to carry. All came down to this one moment of his glory. In that moment. In that precise time. In the kingdom of a God. The Bible says. That this Jesus, with every heavenly backing, triumphed over sin and darkness. And over every wickedness that ever existed upon the earth, in the heavens above and under the waters of the earth. This Jesus, in one moment, broke through. In one moment, he was victorious. John 12, 31 says, Now is the judgment of this world. Now the ruler of this world will be cast out. This prince of this world, beloved, had no chance. He was stripped of everything. In one moment, this Jesus, like many of you despise and reject him, a man of sorrow, a man who suffered blame for all of us. In one moment, God exalted him to King of kings and Lord of lords, to be seated at the right hand of the power of God and to have authority and dominion over all powers and rulers over everything and to judge the entire world. 
in one moment, beloved. In one moment. And I want to say to you, there is a one moment. There is a one day. And the time is here for this church and for our lives. The hour of breakthrough came and no evil. Nothing upon the earth and the heavens above was able to stop it. And I want you to understand this. When there's a shifting and release of the blessing of God for your life, every angelic being will try to even attack and fight the angels to come with the message like it did for Daniel. But I want to say nothing will be able to stop the final result. Even more so now, we who know we already cast up our highway to heaven. We already release the glory of the blood. We already release worship to the heaven. There's already an open heaven. Ecclesiastes 3.15 ESV For that which is Watch this here For that which is Already has been And what will be Has already been For God seeks What has been driven away God has from time past Set all things into a motion To happen in time now that was already orchestrated time past to be revealed again according to his planning and to his timing. It has to happen in his time again. And it was set to happen. It will, it will manifest. That means whatever will exist in the future has already existed in the past. For God calls each event back in his turn. Jesus, Revelation 38, like Jesus, he was slain before the foundation of the world. But in the time of all time, in a particular time, that this Christ came back and he was slain again. But this time, this time to rise up and take full dominion and authority over every dominion, power, darkness, and victory. Are you getting created before the foundation of the world? Created before them, you were created. Holy and blameless now. To be victorious now. To triumph now. Whatever is going to exist in the future has already existed. For God already pronounced our blessing. Christ's kingdom ministry was born before it was born. It existed before prophet Kim Clement could prophesy. It came into being in the time again. That is why I stand with hope and I say, I know my future is secure in Jesus. I know I will triumph in Jesus. I know we will be victorious. I know we'll be more than conquerors. As long as you stay in him, our time of breakthrough is at hand. Ecclesiastes 3, one says, there's a, there's a time and season for all things. A time for everyone's life. A time for blessing. Of fulfillment, encouragement, abundance. Time for your healing is at hand. Time of deliverance. Come on, it's coming at hand. When that time comes, tell your neighbor nobody. And no one. No demon, no power. No wickedness. Not anyone can stop it. Except me. Except me. Except you. If you doubt. Only doubt and unbelief. If you stay out of Christ, there's no manifestation. Only in Christ, there's manifestation. And this church is staying in him. Jesus said, Matthew 28, 60, my time is at hand. Your time is also at hand. Don't stress not to die now. See, some of you worried. Beloved, your time is at hand. But there's an ordination for you to arise. The end of all prophecy has to be fulfilled. That the church will do greater. Greater things than these we shall do. It is written and so it shall be. Not because of the greatness of men and women, but the greatness of his word. It has to come to pass by Christ, by God himself. He's going to manifest it. Beloved, it's time to arise to your blessing. Come on! No more.
know you're going to sit and wallow in your suffering. But I say, I prophesy against that suffering. I said, awaken, awaken to the promise. Awaken to the promise. Awaken. The season is changing. As the season changed, when, David came, when, when David's time came, when his hour came, suddenly, suddenly Saul was dethroned and he died. Let the throne be open for this beloved of God. Doesn't matter how much the enemy chased you. Doesn't matter how much you had to run. Declared you were nobody. Yet the prophet anointed you and said, You will be king of Israel. Upon your seed and seed seed, there's going to be a blessing. But it doesn't matter you are to hide in the mountain. It doesn't matter you are to flee. But when the hour comes, there's an hour of restoration. This is the hour. This is the hour. This is the hour. You don't have to run anymore. The expected time is here. I have a word. Your barrenness is not your finality. Tell yourself your barrenness is not your finality. Your imprisonment is not your finality. Your abuse is not your finality. Your loneliness and lack and sorrow, sickness is not your finality. I say it is subject to change at God's kairos. It is subject to change in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God is calling your blessing back into its turn. He's calling it back. When God thought Noah was ready, when everything was almost complete, when all food was running out and everything, where you never heard the voice of God for a while, and your place is flooded, but you are floating don't know your destiny. But then God sent the wind. Close your eyes for a moment and feel the wind of the Spirit. Blow. Blow. The winds of the Spirit. The Holy Ghost blow. Feel it come over you. Let it be reminded the wind is blowing in your favor. Let it be reminded the waters of troubles are going away. Be reminded that you're now settled back on solid rock. Be reminded. And God remembered Noah as he remembers us. The Bible says God made everything beautiful in his time. Your life may look the way it is right now, but God is preparing it to be beautiful. Beloved, just stay connected. And so it was declared in Psalm 102.13, for he said, I will arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her. Yea, the set time is come. Set time to be gracious, to have pity, and to have compassion. And beloved, we are praying over everyone that is joining us. We believe God for the set time. We believe God will arise over you, over every situation, and show you his favor according to his word. Hallelujah. God is going to take his honor of glory over Christ's kingdom ministries and united Christ. Can I hear amen? I say the powers of darkness had its day. It had its day. It had its tamasha. It did what he had to do. But my God, but my Jesus is going to have his day. He's going to have his day. Our church is going to have his day. Can I hear amen? Yeah, you has yes. He who has an ear, let him hear. The time has come. The set time has come. 
The favor of God has come. The blessing is ours. It is payback. It is payback. It is payback. Woo! Come on, it is payback. Hallelujah. And so, beloved, do you believe? Do you believe? It is our time. According to the time, His infinite wisdom has appointed it. The time. An eternal truth is fixed to it. Therefore, it will never be adjourned. It will never be abandoned. Because that time is set. God does many things. But one thing is precious to him. Is that time. He'll do everything he can before that time. To see that you don't miss that time. That's what he was been doing through Christ's kingdom ministry and united in Christ. Take us to a time of repentance so that restoration can come. Beloved, when that time comes, we hear how the leper was healed. When the time come, the blind men were healed. When the time came, Lazarus was raised up. There was a time. Because it wasn't his time to die. It was only his time to die for, his, for the glory for a little moment. I don't care how bad the stink is. How dead your situation is. There's a word, kumi. Kumi. That word was spoken to the little girl, Talita, kumi. Kumi. At that moment in time was every gifting, every purpose, even to the future, was awakening to full dimension. Not only awoke into life, but the kumi was all glory that was cultured before the foundation of the world. Set in her, began to awaken and arise. And I say, Christ's kingdom ministry, I say kumi, I say kumi, I say kumi. United Christ, kumi. Everything in your life, waken. This is your time, arise. It is a new season. The battle has shifted. The battle has shifted. It's no more ours, it's our God's. Somebody say amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want everybody of you to stand now. When I pray and I prophesy, For every word I prophesy, you must say amen. Can I hear amen now? Amen. Beloved, I'm hard of hearing. When I prophesy, I want you to say amen. Hallelujah. When I prophesy, when I prophesy, thank you guys. See, the enemy doesn't want a loud amen. When I prophesy, you're going to say amen. Can I hear that amen again? On this, beloved, I'm setting you up, then we're going to pray together. But I'm trusting God for this breakthrough. I'm trusting God for restoration. I'm trusting God for recovery. For every one of you, look at the word and look at Jesus, and the word will manifest. On this day of September, the 26th of September 2023, I prophesy over this church over you and United Christ that you are entering into your due season of blessing 
I prophesy a turn it on in your life from dryness to abundance as the season has changed physically I pray a physical and spiritual change in your life in Jesus name I prophesy the overflow, the more than enough. I declare the abundance is your destiny. I prophesy you will be fruitful in the name of Jesus. I prophesy healing in, in is your new position. I declare and decree by apostolic mandate that God's favor is yours to reap and enjoy. I prophesy restoration of your family and relationships. Come on, I hear amen. I prophesy in this season, whatever you've been praying for and trusting God for will be manifest, will be birth forth, and there will be finality in Jesus' name. I pray for a torrential release of rain of Yahweh's blessing upon your life in Jesus name I prophesy the time is now the time has come to recover to have joy and to have laughter again I pray your mind and your spirit will be expectant and open to receive from God. Hallelujah in Jesus name. And I hear amen somebody. I prophesy in Jesus name. You shall not remain in your suffering. Can I hear amen? I prophesy this day change will come to you, your family and your home in Jesus' name. I prophesy, but God will battle for you and rescue you in Jesus' name. I prophesy Jesus Christ will turn harm and evil that is upon you to good and blessing in Jesus' name. Give the Lord a praise someone. I declare and decree this day to you but Jesus stands opposed to every onslaught against your life but Jesus says yes to everything the enemy says no but Jesus says you can to everything the enemy says you cannot the enemy says defeat in your life but Jesus says victory and triumph in your life the enemy says it's over, but Jesus says you just begun. Somebody say hallelujah. I take it now. I prophesy over you that evil intent against you, your family, your business, your employment, your health, your peace, your joy. Uh, God will shut it down. I prophesy there will be an uh, that they will end up blessing you instead of stealing from you. God will disarm them. God will turn you to worship and praise in Jesus' name. I prophesy anyone who has come near you with the intent to hurt you, to rob you, to defile you or curse you, they will end up prophesying. They will end up blessing you. They will give you the order. They will give you the contract. They will give you the favor and God will confuse them. They won't even know what they're doing. Hallelujah. I prophesy judges, advocates, anyone who comes against you will prophesy blessing. They will change the verdict against you and give you favor in the name of Jesus. I declare and decree they will not carry out the wicked judgment and plans against you for the Spirit of God will come upon them and they, God will call the enemies to bless you and not harm you. Come on, give the Lord a praise. I prophesy the evildoers will change the action against you. They will end up naked before you and they will prophesy good. God will embarrass them. God will humble them and God will strip them of their power to give you favor. Hallelujah. I declare and decree over you, you sons and daughters of the living God, that this day no one but God can stop God's plans for your life. Can I hear amen? Zephaniah 3.17 
the Lord thy God in the midst of these mighty, he will save. I declare this day, our God is in the midst of us. He is here. He will save and he will rescue you in Jesus. Today is a day of divine intervention of this God. Today is your day of liberty and freedom from bondage. I declare that in Jesus' name. Somebody say amen. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a praise, somebody. Pastors, they tend to interrupt. I don't want to see more than is written. Now I'm going to pray. And listen to me, everyone. Tell your neighbor, everyone. As long as you can speak, you can repeat after me. So I'm going to pray. Don't worry about the time. We're finishing good time. I want you to repeat after me. <clears throat> Let me finish first. Joel 225. You don't have to declare the name. I'm just letting you know. <clears throat> <clears throat> I rebuke and I cast out all spirits of the canker worm. The palmer worm and the caterpillar and the locust that will eat up my blessing in Jesus name it is rebuked and it is cast out in Jesus name According to your word, Isaiah 48, 17. Lord, teach me to profit and lead me in the way I should go. You are Jehovah Jireh, my provider. I decree your name above any other name and declare your name above the name of mammon. Genesis 24 14. I declare you are El Shaddai, the God of the more than enough. Wealth and riches are in my house because I fear you and I delight greatly in your commandments. Psalm 112, verses 1 to 3. I am God's servant. He takes pleasure in my prosperity. I am your servant, Lord. Prosper me. I live in the prosperity of the King. You reward me because I diligently seek you. Lord, release the wealth of the wicked into my hands. Lord, bring me into a wealthy place. Open the floodgates of heaven over my life and I receive more than I had enough room to receive. Let every hole in my bag be closed in the name of Jesus. Jesus, rebuke the devourer for my sake. All nations will call me blessed and I will be delightful land. My gates are open continually. They shall not be shut day or night. That men will bring to me wealth of nations. Let your showers of blessing come upon my life in Jesus name. Let my vets overflow in Jesus' name. Let my barns be filled with plenty and my presses burst with new wine. Father, in Jesus' name, command your blessing upon my storehouses. Father, in Jesus' name, deal wondrously with me and let me eat and be satisfied in the mighty name of Jesus I revoke and turn every blessing I turn into blessings every curse 
issued against my life. From now on, I will move forward in the blessing where would God has blessed me through Jesus Christ. Father, in Jesus' name, we pray our homes will be strong in the Lord. We pray the blood of Jesus over our homes, over our family, over everything we own and have. This night, in the mighty name of Jesus, we bind and break every cycle of curse. Every recurring curse over my family. The curse of divorce, of abortions, of poverty, of miscarriages, of sicknesses, of bondages, of abuse. The curse of our daughters getting babies but can't get married. curse of failure and suffering we render this evil powerless we render it bound in Jesus name we drive it out we drive it out of our families in Jesus name Father restore us O oh Lord and bring us to the place of your blessing in Jesus' name, reunite our families. Bring them together in love, in the fear of the Lord. Father, in Jesus' name, restore our families again. Cause our sons and daughters that left homes to come back and make peace and live together in love. Father, thank you. I declare and decree that our descendants will be mighty on the earth. The generation of the upright shall be blessed in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a praise, somebody. In Matthew 17, 21, it says, Jesus gives us a a solution to a problem. He said, however, this kind does not go out except by prayer and fasting. Now, whatever that kind is, whatever it is, I got a name for it. This kind. Whatever your problem is, I got a word for it. This kind. And I declare in Jesus, this kind. Say in Jesus' name. This kind, this kind, in the name of Jesus, you are going out today. Come out and leave us and we be free in Jesus' name. We pray this kind, every kind of hindrance will be gone for good. We shall be free from all kinds of torment and suffering. Somebody say amen. Give the Lord a praise, somebody. Say, Lord Jesus, I declare your word over my family. For you, O oh Lord, would bless the righteous with favor. You would surround him as a shield. I thank you, Lord. My family is now surrounded with the shield of our God. I thank you for your word and I declare it. The Lord our God will abundantly bless our families with provision and satisfy the poor with bread. In Jesus name, say thank you Lord. Give him some praise somebody. So I want to pray for healing. Beloved, everything I'm praying is written. Even when I was prophesying, I'm not giving you scriptures. Because then it's going to double the time. Okay? Trust me, it's in the Bible. Okay? Say, Almighty God.
this day, on this Kairos moment, I believe your word is a and amen. Jesus, you are the word. You are truth. There is no lie in your word. And tonight, I call in the promises of the living God in Jesus' name. And I declare over my sick body and over my family, He Himself bore our sins in His body on the cross so that we might die to sins and live for righteousness. It is written, by His wounds you have been healed. I receive my receive I receive my healing in Jesus name bless the Lord oh my soul and forget not all his benefits who forgives all iniquities and heals all diseases I receive this word all my diseases I healed it is gone it is over in Jesus' name, your word is my fortress, is my health. I take it now. And the whole multitude that sought and touched Jesus, the power went from him and healed them all. Accordingly, Lord, everyone, everyone of us receive a healing by faith in Jesus name beloved as it is written I pray in Jesus name I pray that you may prosper in all things and be in health just as your soul prospers and so I receive my soul to prosper and be in health in Jesus name give the Lord a praise Surely He has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows, yet we esteem Him smitten. Sorry, esteem Him stricken, smitten by God and afflicted. But He was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon Him. And by his stripes, we are healed. Give the Lord a praise, somebody. Father, tonight I declare and I pronounce this word over our lives in the name of Jesus. I pray over each one, and those joining us and united in Christ. Make known, as your word says in Isaiah 46.10. Make known your purpose for every son and daughter that is seeking you. Make known your purpose for our church. And help us have a clear vision. As we conclude 2023 and go beyond. Father, you declared in Psalm 32.8. I will guide you along the best pathway for your life. I will advise you and watch over you. Father, we receive this promise by faith in Jesus' name. According to Psalm 143, 8. Father, teach us the way we should. For, for to you, we entrust our lives in Jesus' name. And so, Lord, today, as the word says in Proverbs 3, 5, we trust in the Lord with all our hearts. I want everyone to say that. Tonight, we trust in the Lord with all our hearts. We choose to lean not on our own understanding in all our ways. And you shall direct our path in the mighty name of Jesus. We give you praise, we give you glory, 
and we give you thanks. We thank you tonight is our set time. We believe for Christ's kingdom ministries, for United in Christ. The time has come for our breakthrough. Father, we thank you. We receive the open heaven. We thank you, Lord. You are rebuking the devourer for our sake. We thank you, Lord, for the blessing. The showers of blessing is coming our way. We give you praise. We give you glory. And we give you honor. Give the Lord a praise, somebody. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Come on. Somebody shout hallelujah. Do me a praise. Those of you are joining us, it's okay to shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Man. It is who's his word. I believe. And you believe. We all believe. We will recover. I'm going to call Linda to come up and stand with me and release a blessing. We have pushed a lot together. I wanted to release a blessing to you guys. Now listen to me. <clears throat> Take it. I don't, I don't care if tomorrow they come and tell you this and you're fired. Rejoice. Because I can guarantee you there's a better job waiting. Turn. Serious. Let us laugh at the enemy now. Our God is more than a conqueror. He's under control. Now don't get an argument now and say, no, I'm leaving work and then blame me. Yeah. Have wisdom. Have wisdom. Beloved, it doesn't matter the pain you feel now. I say you are healed. Can I hear amen? I say you're healed. And go home and say it is you blessed. Tell your neighbor your time has come. Tell your neighbor the time has come. Breakthrough has started. Receive it in Jesus' name. Come on, give the Lord a hand. Come on, somebody. The heaven is taking notes. Angels are taking notes. To see how excited you are. Raise your hand. Uh, Friday night is another night. I'll forgive you if you're here and you're snoring. Because I'll believe you, you talk in tongues, it's okay. I'm serious. We, that is just fun. But I'm saying, beloved, there's a time of desperation. I'd rather have you sleeping in the house of the Lord for that moment and soak in the presence than be at home. One night. Tell your neighbor one night. No big deal. Jabez, no big deal. I'll be here. Seven o'clock sharp. We'll have communion at four in the morning. Okay. And we'll break at five. And we have amen. Okay, why don't we have double communion? We'll start with communion at seven. Be here at seven for communion. Friday night. Come on. The time has come. The season has changed. Can I hear amen? Winter is over. Hallelujah. Come on, family of God. Let's return thanks and praise unto this great I am. To our King eternal, the immortal, invincible God, the only wise God. Be thou glory and honor and power and praise today. Our Father, I thank you today. You declared you are the eternal God. You declared that you're a covenant-keeping God. You declared that not one word that proceeds from your mouth will ever return empty. And Father, today you declared in your word that you are not a man, that you would lie. So Father, today this is the confidence that we come as your sons and daughters that as our prayers ascended unto you, we are confident of this one thing, that you are a God that is alive, that your, God is, that your word is true, that your word is eternal, that your word and your promises will never die, but it shall manifest 
over our lives today. We give you praise and we give you glory and we give you honor today. We thank you for hearing us today. Father, as your sons and daughters on this 26th day of September, Father, we are in expectation. We are in anticipation for the mighty outpouring, my Father, of your blessings upon your people. We thank you for the restoration and we thank you for the restitution. We thank you for the renewal. We thank you for the breakthroughs. We thank you for the turnarounds in our lives today. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. And we give you praise, Lord, for all that you. Thank you, Lord, for the good work that you've begun in our lives. And we are confident today that you who began it will see it finished in our lives. So, Father, as your sons and daughters will go, I pray, God, the word will abide in their hearts today. Father, that word will not depart from them. That even as they go, Lord, they will not look at the natural, my Father, but what they will keep their eyes fixed on your word today. That your word is a and amen today. Father, I pray a blessing over them. I cover all with your precious blood today. I thank you for protection. I thank you for safe traveling mercies now. In Jesus' name, the Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you. And the Lord be gracious unto you. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen and amen and amen. See you through the week, Friday night. I want to